Hello everybody, Hosting here. Today I'm going to be doing a What I Got In Today video. Um, I always would try to do more videos, but this came in so late and I just didn't feel like doing it on all day. So, this is probably about the only video that's going to go up. I like to do video, you know, videos every day, but, you know, with work and everything, I just have time. I don't feel like doing it when I get in. I'm so tired from that. Um, and if I like worked in an office and I could probably do something like this or with like a teacher or something like that, something that's not so demanding, then, you know, well, I don't know, I mean, maybe not t a teacher's probably demanding too. But anyway, I'm going to get out of that subject before that goes into something that it doesn't need to. <clears throat> uh, now these kids, what I got them in, they're going to be doing like, uh, I'm going to be doing like comparisons and things like that. I've got other variants of this, uh, these kits. Um, but right now this is going to be the first part of what I got in today. The second part is going to be kits that I already have of those kits that are in boxes and then showing you kits that I have of those kits of different variants, you know, that I already have put together. Because one kit uh, I had an unboxing and review all, well, not a review, but an unboxing made up for it and then my computer that I had at the time decided to break on me, so that got lost. Well, it didn't get lost, it was saved on my hard drive, I had an external hard drive, it was saved on that. But I guess since the computers are different than a laptop, it wouldn't uh, take videos from it. It would say video file not found or something like that. First, we're going to get into the kits I got in today, and then I'm going to get into kits that I have of different variants of the kits I got in today that are not uh, put together yet, and then ones that I have that are put together. Uh, but anyway, we'll go ahead and start off. The first kit we got here is a Gelgoog Cannon. A regular Gelgoog or a Gelgoog Cannon. Bring that down a little bit more. Uh, you get the regular Gelgoog or the Gelgoog Cannon. Me personally, I prefer the regular Gelgoog, but me, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be, a, it's gonna be a mixture of the both, really. Parts that I don't like from one, I'll get used on the other one, things like that. I mean, it's only one, you, know, you only get one mobile suit with it. Kind of should have, you know, order two to get, you know, different looks. But, yeah, I'm going to pretty much just make it my own custom. It's not going to be custom paints. It's going to be with the parts that come with it, you know, custom. What parts I like and all that kind of stuff. Alright, now we're going to get into the, uh, that's the only go-go I got with this one. Now we got into the Dom Tropins. We got the first one, the purple one from Gundam 0083. Uh, the first couple of scenes in it uh, when they're at the Torrington base. They kind of should have watched. Uh, this is going off topic, but when it comes to Unicorn, they kind of should have watched the battle scene to what the base looked like because in Unicorn, the base looks nothing like the way it did in the show. I know it was created by different people, but you know, keep some consistency. Of, you know what the base looked like because on this show, it was a desert base. Then on the show, it was a, a water, like near water, or it could have been two different bases, I don't know. But anyway, I got the purple one, and I got the brown one, comes with more stuff to it, the cool looking one. And, yeah, there's not really much else to say about it, just the color swap and, you know, different pieces, and then the body looks a little different. And now we come in into the P Bandai version of it. Uh, this is from Unicorn. Only thing that makes it different from you know, you know, just looking at it or you know what parts came with the original. So what that is, you know, the grenades in the hand. That's basically the only thing different about it. But like I said, I'm gonna put these kits together and then compare them after I get you know the very last review. Then I'm gonna repair, compare them at the last review. And last but not least, what came in was the Gelgoog, uh, not Gelgoog, uh, why I keep saying Gelgoog, I see a J and I start to say Gelgoog, the um, Conrad's Jagan, Aquas type. Um, I mean, it's, it's a Gelgoog, it's not nice, I mean, it's not really, you know, not spectacular about it, I mean, you know, it comes with a blade and a little side arm and things like that. Only reason I got this kit because I like the way the sword comes out on the arm. Um, this is like my a different take of this, and um, I've already opened it and see if there, you know maybe like some you know pictures of it, but there, there's not. I've only only has them holding the sword. 
Uh, but yeah, that's about it for the what I got in portion. Like I said, this is five kits. Now we're gonna get into the kits that I already had that I haven't built yet. First one. Let me get this camera to go down some more. The Gogu Marine. You can see there's difference, you know, like, uh, you know, parts. It pretty much looks different than the Jagan, but there's still parts of it that, you know, it kind of looks like it's the evolution. Kind of, or basically about the same, really. Just the Jagan looked a lot better to me. Another kit that I have that I haven't put together yet is the Jagan, the regular old Jagan. Me personally, like when the series got on, like you know, F ninety one, I know there's like you know different timelines stuff like that, and you know different times of the you know they basically didn't talk with each other or anything like that, you know, take up parts. Well, we, but you know, in um, F ninety one, the Federation is still around, which I think in in that time, you know, Unicorn was before that, and in that timeline, the Federation is no more, and Zeon no more, and they're like a different military group. But they made the Jagan. The secondary mobile suit. You know, and then they had other gun, other mobile suits that look like Gundams. And then another kit that I had for a while is the Gogu Stark Jagan. I guess I see, I said Gogu again. The Stark Jagan. Um, I also have the GM3. They're kind of, you know, kind of similarity. I might do, you know, that into the, you know, uh, comparison too. At the end of it, of the. Uh, Jagan series I'm going to do. But yeah, that's about it of the kits that I have that um, haven't been put together. I have the original Rick Dom. It's, you know, you can make the Rick Dom or the Dom if you want to. It's completely up to you. And I'm going to tell you what they could have done with the Stark Jagan. See, I keep, now I keep messing up my words, my names. The Dom Tropins, what they could have done to make them better and things like that. And then the Gogu Jagan. The first one I got right. No, no, I said Jagan. It's, uh. Gogu, whatever, Majig from Gundam Deloitte. I'm not gonna. Uh, Jaeger, 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 whatever. So, like I said, this is, uh. These are the very back of what I've got in today, and these are, you know, plans that I'm gonna do. Of comparisons on a later date. Um. But like I said, that's about it for this video. I'm going to edit it, cut out parts that I don't like, and things like that, and then you know, upload it to the YouTubes. Um, go ahead and get this out of the way. Got these all from USA Gundam Store. Before I end this video, I forgot what I was going to add to it. Uh, the prices that I paid for the Echoos Jagan. Oh, when I finally got it right. The Jagan was $39.95. The P Bandai was the same, $39.95. The Dom Tropin Brown is $16.99. The regular Dom Tropin is $15.59. And then the Gogug Cannon slash regular Gogug. I got those for let me try to find it. Fifteen ninety nine. So I mean So I mean, you know, compared to the Gundam Planet, you know, they're they're a whole lot cheaper than Gundam Planet. Uh, they have a few master grades I want to get of, you know, the Gogug Cannon and stuff like that, because they look and these look alright, but you know, it, it looks ten times better. But uh yeah, that's about it. Uh, leave a like if you like the video. Rate, subscribe for more Gundam-related things. Uh, eventually, I'm one hour to have a gaming channel set up. This was gonna be a gaming and Gundam type stuff, but I figured you know probably need to stay in the one. So this is gonna be my Gundam channel. I have a gaming channel. I haven't posted nothing yet, but when I start doing it, though, I want to. I'm gonna, you know, start putting an advertisement for it in my own videos. But uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, like. Rate, subscribe, and as always, I'll talk to y'all later. Hell's Dating, signing out. Bye.
Alrighty guys, at the end of this video, uh, I normally don't do this, but I kind of wanted to get this out there. Uh, I do still plan on doing the Nemo review. I was going to do that today, but then this, um, these kits that came in, you know, got them at the end of the day, and I don't really, didn't really feel like doing a review, you know, after the unboxing portion of this video, but it'll be up the next day. <clears throat> I mean, not the next day, but uh, it'll be the next thing I do. After I do the unboxings for these kits I just got in, because I want to try to build all those. Not all of them, just the uh, Dom Tropins, get those out done, and then maybe the um, Jigen, since the Equas um, guy, um, I forget his name, Conrad, Conrays, Conroys, however you say his name, um, since they're still on everybody's mind, so I'm going to try to get those done. I have other kits that, uh, that I've had for a while that I wanted to do. I had the... Uh, RX 78-3, the uh, C3 version, I think is what they call it, and then the um, Virtue, and then the GM3, but those are going to have to wait until after I get these done. Um, but um, anyway, another thing I want to add to this is I was uploading more, but like three days a week. I like to do more than that, but most times when I get off work, I'm just so tired, I don't want to do nothing, so I don't. Um, and you have to have a lot of time to put these things together and do the reviews and all that kind of stuff and you know what you're talking about and I really don't I just like you know I just everybody else you know, I've seen other people do these videos and I want to do them and they get pretty good views so that too uh, happy gaming channel when the Gundam vs game comes out I'm going to play it on my gaming channel I'll kind of have on here like advertisement come to my gaming channel and watch me play this or watch me play that I'm not um, I used to play games from time to time, but you know, as of late, I don't really play games no more. It's more of come home, sit on my butt, do nothing, or do these unboxings um, and reviews <coughs> and building. I have the GM Sniper 2. Uh, I got the head and the body on that done, but that's not, well, I'm not going to do an unboxing or nothing like that on that. I might do a review after I get done with it, but it'll be one of those slow, leisurely builds. Uh, I also have the camper I'm still working on. I know it's taking me a long time to get that kit done, but I was doing so much on it, and then I got bored of the kit, so I stopped uh, working on it. But when me, when I do my videos, I normally, um, not my videos, but when I do my kits, I normally do three. Three is a good number at a time. I'll do like, you know, um, body of each one, then I'll go to the next, you know, go from one to the next. I'll get the body on this one done, then I'll go to the next one, get the body on it done, then go to the next one, get the body on that one done. And then you know head and all so on and so forth and that way um if i wanted to and if, you know I, I want to but you know if i can and if i'm you know feeling up to it i can do video after video after video you do three kits at a time that's you know a good amount of kits put together for you to do videos um the new new zeal or whatever i got a unboxing of that i need to edit then a review of it i need to do on it it's not much to that kit. It's not gonna be. It shouldn't be that long. Hopefully, um, you know, I saw it on USA Game Store. Had to have it because it's one of those kits. As soon as it's there, it's gone. It has its few problems with it, but that's gonna be what I'll get into in a review. But, you know, my nose won't stop itching, and I'm pretty sure you can hear me scratch my nose. But anyway, this is getting on to three minutes. I'm not trying to carry this video on. I'm gonna leave a like if you like the video, rate, subscribe, and as always, I'll talk to y'all later.